Okay, evening, and uh, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to be uh, road testing uh, Joe Barnard's uh, Zenis break deck, and uh, he has actually managed to secure his Wells Invite uh, top 16 uh, at uh, Bremen was enough to do it, so congratulations, uh, Joe. Now, Joe uh, actually was able to pilot uh, Zenis break, and Zenis break is actually uh, now... Um, been released online so what I thought I would do is I would actually get a video out there as well and test test this now um, interesting now I had a very very brief chance to have a chat with Joe uh, at one of the League Cups this is uh, pre-rotation and he actually did highlight how strong this actually would be potentially I was able to get a couple of thoughts from him um, what was quite interesting as well was that um, he also uh, uh, raise the prospect of being able to react um, with um, any kind of like uh, rise in for example Espeon Garbador with potential Mew and this was this, this, this discussed uh, this, this was kind of discussed back and forth as well I gave it a bit of a try and um, didn't really like how it was planning out at the moment it was kind of like a full back deck I thought maybe it could actually be good in juniors as well tried it extensively just couldn't actually get it to work couldn't actually figure out why um, so I left it for, for a little bit, but it seems to be the case that it has indeed gained traction. Now there's another um, another top eight as well. That was Tamal. He actually made that um, made that position with uh, Zenith Break as well. It'll be interesting to see what his build was like in comparison. I, th I suspect it's actually going to be um, somewhat similar. And um, but we'll just have to wait and see until until the lists come out online. Um, so how was how was Joe actually able to 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 negotiate this uh, cool run towards his world's invite. Um, first and foremost, with Oranguru being uh, your recovery from N, late game is going to be quite important to get all of those uh, resources back in time, especially if you'll need to get a game winning Guzma or a, a Tapilele. Um, the heart and soul of this deck is Xerneas uh, yes, with Geomancy. Choose uh, two bench Pokemon uh, for each of these Pokemon. Search your deck for a fairy energy and uh, attach it to that Pokemon as well. Shuffle your deck afterwards. Uh, okay, yeah, so you'll be able to Geomancy and then straight after that, uh, with enough um, energies around the place, you'll be able to then hit out for some huge amount um with with uh, very very little uh kickback actually because you're only losing uh one prize per turn and you've only really got uh two energy on your active zonus as well so having said that uh it's it's really difficult to actually take this deck down now now um what does also uh, beef this up a little bit is the break, but you've actually got one of the best attacks in the game. You've actually got life stream 20 times uh, the amount of energy attached to all of your Pokemon. So after about three or four turns of, um, of, of Geomancy, this one can actually really start to start to uh, pick up speed. So you got your four Zern uh, you got your four Xerneas, three Xerneas break. Um, my preliminary lists did have three Lele, and I've noticed that Joe actually raised the number two four. Um, you know, this is something that we're starting to see in a lot of the real high end, top end um, deck builds with four Lele being able to uh, just secure that first turn support is absolutely huge. Absolutely huge. So if you can afford them, it's great. It's great to have them in your deck, and that fourth LA, I believe, did make a difference. You've got um, two Bridget as well. So to secure that Xerneas, that first turn Xerneas, and making sure that you've actually got two Xerneas to Geomancy onto uh, is great. And you don't mind having the extra Lele's around as well to Geomancy on. It's, it's not too bad at all. Now, pre-rotation is actually uh, used to run... Um, 
Pokemon like Regirock and also um, Electric, the baby Electric with uh, the special uh, traits that couldn't be Guzmerd, couldn't be Lysandered, couldn't be, um, and uh, you, you couldn't do any kind of any form of energy removal with those. Um, but now it's not too bad having Lele as a little sponge for all of those fairy energies. It's very difficult actually to, to, to get yourself to a position of advantage when you've actually got three three energies on the zone as well. If you've got three energies on the zone, you could at a push go for uh, Rainbow Spear 100-130, but it's not really desirable. It's not really desirable to have that because when you if you if you were to get a Xerneas uh, knocked out. That's a lot of energy that you're actually uh, losing. It's three energy, and um, that's 60 extra damage. That can actually make a big difference as well. Um, four Max Elixir seems to be a standard in this deck to try and get that acceleration out as quickly as possible. One Field Blower um, and it's actually had to that there has had to be a slice for um, for the fourth lane. I'm trying to figure out whether it's actually the second Field Blower. Or maybe is it for the double colourless energy? You don't really need that double colourless energy until maybe the uh, the second uh, the second third of the game, like the mid game. Um, double colourless energy immediately adds forty to your attacks as well, so that's great. Uh, only one rescue stretcher, two super rod. Super rod being um, being really key because if you actually sycamore energies away very very early, uh, it's great to get them back. Now. Um, EXP share. Now, I've seen some lists without EXP share at all. I've seen some lists completely with uh, saturated with EXP share. I think it's EXP share is probably the second most controversial choice that uh, a player can make. The first actually being uh, Fairy Garden. But I think Fairy Garden, given the format at this moment in time, especially with things like Espeon around, can really, really uh, sort you out. Um, you know, single Fairy NG makes anything uh retreat you've got an oranguru that is a sitting duck um you know that can be gutted out and it can waste a couple of turns while you're struggling to try and get back um get back to the bench um the deck plays no switch it plays uh three guzma and you want to try and conserve those guzmas as much as possible you want to try and get the geomancies going as quickly as possible so you can't really bridge it and Guzma at the same time if you've actually got an Aranguru out and if you're sycamoring it and you'll get yourself into a bit of a knot. Uh, maxed out on choice band as well. I've seen some lists play uh, just three choice band as well. So I think that's potentially where uh, where a flex decision had to be made. You know, do you actually go two field blower or one field blower, uh, but get uh, a second choice band up and running as well. So. 12 NG seems to be a standard, um, and there you have it really, um, 3 Guzma, 3 N, uh, 4 Sycamore, because all you want to do is you want to tear through this rather than give your uh, your opponent the advantage, you're probably going to feed uh, off your opponent's ends anyway, uh, because they, they, they will suddenly realise actually, you know what, we need to actually start doing something uh, worthwhile over the next three to four turns, uh, or over the first three to four turns, or after the first three to four turns of a match. So there you go, it's really simple, very, very easy to uh, put through, and it really has been grinding some, uh, some, uh, some excellent results out. Um, you know, kind of... Um, Underestimated, I have to say, but quite a few people in the UK certainly know about the Zernis break. There's going to be a lot of those over the next couple of weeks with a couple of League Cups going on. Um, it's going to be interesting to play. Anyway, so let's uh, let's see how it plays out. Let's um, let's just join the ladder, do some casual streaming, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, see, uh, so the stream seems to be quite smooth right now. Um, I'll take my chances. I get quite nervous having to um, how to switch between YouTube and Twitch, but I think Twitch is probably the uh, probably the way forward. I hope that uh, US viewers feel that way as well. So, if you're watching. Uh, 
thank you and welcome and thank you very much for, for joining. And uh, let's see, I hope it's, um, hope it's worth a watch. Oh, that's a shame, we didn't have a basic there. That would have been a really nice start actually. It would have been Bridget, Max Elixir straight into it, second turn Sycamore. Wouldn't have minded, so I can just get those energies through. Uh, Uh, energy's back through um, uh, Super Rod, right? Okay, so we're forced with the Lele, but we do also have the double colorless as well, so we might be able to scav uh, something out of this one. All right, so let's go straight for the Bridget. No fairy garden uh, around at the moment. Do you know what? Let's just go for the triple Xerneas. Okay, I feel like hitting out a little bit. Potentially, um, potentially scoring a 60 if my opponent isn't really um, prepared. And we're just going to pass. So my opponent's playing a Remoraid, I'm suspecting that he's playing some form of Gardevoir. So he, he has a Fairy Coin, so it's a bit Telltale. Let's see how it goes. It's got the uh, the Floatstone on there. Ideally attach if I manage to get um, Fairy Garden Retreat. If not, it's not too bad. I can still att um, attach a Retreat. Geomancy, I could be greedy. I could go for could go for um, a Guzma attack just to get an extra card from the discard part uh, from the prize pile. Um, so I really would like to have some level of uh, draw out of this one, but I don't mind uh, Geomancy. Let's see. Let's see. I'm, I am tempted. The other thing, only other thing as well is that um, Guzma would not be able to um, help me retreat. I'm really glad that my opponent is actually playing that N. Oh wow, thank you PTCG, I love that. I've got three uh, sycamores. <laughs> you didn't see my hand. You didn't see my hand at all. What was that all about? Anyway, so as we're all, we're one up the, um, the street. Love that. Let's keep going. I have no idea what he was playing. I don't know what he was playing at all. Okay, so we've got water psychic deck. Let me start off with a Tapalelli. Ideally, we could bridge it, retreat. Not really giving away uh, to my opponent. Oh, right. Okay, so Tapu Finny. Just got to watch. So, um, Tappy Storm, uh, for one for energy, shuffle your opponent's active Pokemon all cards attach it into their deck. Uh, I wouldn't mind that. Wouldn't mind that at all because, uh, Xerneas, I'll be able to get a Bridget, no worries at all. Uh, Hydro Shot, just got to watch, uh, Bench Hits for 120. And Aquarine as well, so we've got a Greninja deck. Okay. Right, okay, so let's get that first turn, Bridget. Always worth having a look. 
and we've got three and nine fairy energies going on. So I'll be able to bridge it pretty much four times before I'm good to go. And this does have that well polished feel about it. Um, do I want an Oshball just yet? Not really. Um, what I'd like to do is I'd like to land the fairy energy. If so, I'll be able to retreat and Geomancy straight away. So that will be perfect. Retreat. Select uh, both Xerneas. In real life, what you'd have to do is you would have to nominate your uh, two bases. Worth looking at Geomancy. It's two your benched Pokemon. It could be any two of the benched Pokemon. And such a deck for a fiery energy. Uh, I think I'm going to do that. That's absolutely fine. The only thing about Greninja is that this is potentially going to take me out. So I have to be really, really, really careful. But I have a Sycamore potentially next turn. Should be good. 20, 40, 68, and 100. Potentially doing 100 next turn. It is actually better to continue the Xerneas. Don't go, don't go all out just yet, uh, because it will it will eventually come. So I'm going to put basic on Lele. No valid cards. We do have a Xerneas in there. We've got a couple of breaks in there as well. I'll pop that there just to just get it out of the way. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's Geomancy anyway. Um, hmm. I feel like doing that, and I feel like doing that. So we've got uh, one more Geomancy available. Again, I'm quite good with that because I actually just would like to um, have the EXP share around and I'm okay with that as well because uh, my fairy energy, fairy energy are actually going to be um, chucked back in the deck and ideally I would get a Xenis break and look at that, that's just perfect. Uh, the only other thing that I really would like to have had was a fairy garden. And let's see what I'm doing this turn. Right, so he is doing a uh, moonlight slash for 80. Now I could potentially do 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 60, 80 with the double colourless. However, I really do need um, a fairy energy. Now, what I can do is I can um, Guzma. Or indeed, I can just retreat with the double colorless. Do I really want to retreat with the double colorless, though? I think I can solve my problems by just going for um, Guzma. I really don't like that Staryu. 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna I'm just gonna Guzma. Thin out my deck a little more. Just have a quick look and see how many um how many energy I have. I do have two fairy energy, so I could do a quick geomancy. But um do you know what I think I actually have enough. I think his deck will depend hugely on being able to get the water energies from his discard pile. I'm sure he's going to have a way of getting getting them, but uh, in actual fact what I could do is I could just get him with um, a Tapulele. Uh, which I think I'm going to do actually. Okay, so the elixir doesn't work. Um, I'll pop that on there. Then I'm going to get my first prize. Just don't like that starry. That starry is going to be um, key for him. Puts him in a predicament now. He's got a Tapulele that he can attack if he has the break, but he would definitely need to get another Greninja. He can't one-hit KO me. Um, 60 plus 80 is 740, so he actually can, can one hit KO me, but I don't mind, I don't mind that Lely just going. Honestly, I really, really don't, because I'm just going to smash him anyway. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160. He has to have the break, and he has to be able to discard. Hoping that I get something decent, decent, decent from um, from the next. This one, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160. I really do need that extra energy. He's going to go all in on. He has to go all in on this one. Didn't have the water energy though. There you go. This is going to be interesting. Um, I'm going to pop that there. I'm going to keep the Tapilele active. I'm going to use the Brooklet Hill. Why not? Oh, I can't. Obviously. Obviously, obviously, obviously. Just get that extra bit of damage on there and then what I'll be able to do is I'll be able to smash him. And he does he might have to retreat. If he has the break, he will have to retreat. He did overextend himself as well he did he did get that uh, star you Hmm, I'm quite scared here, but let's put that out. Reason being that EXP share could actually kick in, is it from damage? Yeah, he's actually already used that, so I'm hoping should be okay. Now he might do shadow stitching if he's clever. Won't get the knockout, but he'll prevent me from um, using Wonder Tag. 
How much have I got on the board? I have... 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140. Just seems to be 10 short, really. I think he's going to retreat and he's going to knock out that Xerneas, and that energy will not stay in play. I have to be very, very careful at this stage. He has already attached as well, that's the thing. If he can just attach to that bench Greninja. It's gonna be difficult. Okay. So we've got a Moonlight Smash. And I really like that because that water, that fairy energy is staying on the field. 20, 40, 80, 120, 160. Which should be enough for Xenius Break to take it down. Okay, right. In natural fact, that really, really does help. Okay, right. Um... I really would like to use the Super Rock next turn. Uh, I would get, oh, okay, I would get the Xerneas. But if I use it this turn, I can get the Lele. It's a tough one. It's a tough one. Um, okay, let's just go live stream. How much HP does Starmie have? It'll have 90. I can definitely recycle one of the Lele's. I can get 1, 2, 3. With that Starmie, it is very, very difficult. I think, I think Greninja is just a really difficult matchup anyway. Um, you, know, you can try and take that the Starmie out, as you can, as you saw. But um, once they have two Greninjas going, they're just doing two hundred. You know. Xerneas Break only has 150. It's hard to chain those Xerneas Breaks as well. So it does look as if this deck is going down at the moment. How many water energy does he actually have in his discard pile? Does he have anything? He's always going to be able to find a water energy now, so... I think the good thing about Zone's break though is it forces him to actually attack for 200. Now, what do we do? 20, 40, 60, 800, 120, 140. Um, 
What do I do? Do I just continually try and stream the Zernis? Um, hmm. We got that. Do we actually need it right now? The answer is no. No, we don't need it. Uh, let's definitely get that break back. Um, I'd like to get the Lele back, and I'd like to get a Fairy Energy back as well. Um, like to get get rid of the Oranguri. Go for a Lele. Good thing I put the Lele back. Super plot. Put the two GM uh Gemancy Zonius back and also a Ranguru. Just have a quick look. Right, big decision now, what support to get? I think it, I, normally I would actually go for the N. Can he actually get out of the end? Um, 20, 40, 60. Guzmo would not be enough to take out the... Starmie, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140. I need to get the double colourless and his earnest break in order to take out his Greninja, would it be enough? Don't really think I've got an option, I can't get it through N. Alright, here we go. Oh my gosh, I actually managed it? 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140. Put that down. 160, 180. She managed to take out the Greninja Break. The problem is that it actually has that splash energy on it. There is my fourth Lele. And I firmly have that Starmie in sight. What I also need is I need to get a Xerneas and a Xerneas active. Xerneas rank uh, in order for it to be active. Oh, boy, 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 boy. It is a struggle. Do you want it to work? And yeah, it won't. One energy in this discard palm. Oh, 
Oh, that's just horrible. My opponent's been horrible to me now. Okay, let's um let's make that active. I've got the fairy garden anyway, it doesn't really matter. Um we can get one. We might not be able to get another. Sixteen hundred and twenty if he gives us that and then Okay, Geomancy. Hopefully, I'll be able to get one. <laughs> Just needed that extra turn, really, didn't they? But I want to get that star me. Horrible, horrible feel. And he's got two left, and he's just got the upper hand on everything, really. <sighs> 60 and then 80, so 140. I think he's done it anyway. He's only one away, so no matter where the Xerneas goes. Man. Oh, thank God, this is disgusting. Okay. That's frustrating. Um, Do I have? Let's see. If I was to Guzma him. I don't think there's very much that I can actually do. 
Oh, heck. You know what I mean. Okay. Got both turniers back. That's just cruel. I have no idea. I mean, like, you know, I could have rainbow speared, but. I'm just gonna have to wait. Always gets to this stage against Greninja. You just cannot, cannot wrestle it to the ground. Oh, he's got one card as well. All he needs to do is just two. Only two giant water shurikens say to pressing. I mean, there was no way out. I, I, if this was like a real, real match, I would probably concede at this stage. But I don't know whether he's actually run out of water. I don't know. I just don't know. How can he run out of water? <laughs> He can run out of water, really. He's got, he's got Starmie. I mean, if I was able to get the Zenith break, then potentially gives me Starmie, but it's not looking good. It's not looking good at the moment. I don't know. I don't know. I 
really, really annoying. Uh, uh, I'm literally, literally, I'm tempted just to... to alt roll, uh, just to run the throw learning and then get the N. Don't you play any sort of podium song, do you know what, I'm going to do that. I have to get me on. That first turn, getting that energy is absolutely wrong. Okay. Plus the M is actually really good against his beating as well. I could have kept the energy on. I'll do it next time. Okay. Okay. Oh brilliant. Okay, right, so we've got two zones on this field now, right? So right. Okay, so it's, it's not looking too bad actually. I can just do a couple of couple of uh few amounts I think I've got time for it as well. There we go, we've got ten and the five amounts.
the drama state is going to be something that kind of like that. Potentially the Lano is um, the first sort of thing.
Let's see, he's gonna get to that. He's gonna do it anyway. So, Nazir attacks with his ultimate. I expect to see some kind of cool, well played thing. Okay, take care. Bye for now.